Welcome to part five of the product demo series, Max Development Tool. In the last video, part four, Max Ground Data System, we connected Max GDS to our running Solus scenario. We viewed live telemetry from Max as well as executed commands to the spacecraft. This demonstrated the true test like you fly simulation capability of the ASI product suite. In this video, we will take a look at the Max Development Tool. We will demonstrate its superior ability to support component development by writing about 80% of the required code so that the developer can spend the majority of their time on algorithm development. Let's say that we want to make a custom reaction wheel health monitor. We're going to start by opening up Solus and under the advanced Solus configuration, click on development tool and then start development tool. We now need to name our project and select the base directory location. We will call it Custom Reaction Wheel Monitor, and then we will run the dev tool. Now that code generation is complete, let's take a look at what the dev tool just made for us. Looking in the SDK directory folder for our scenario, we will see the demo set folder that Solus created for us, as well as our custom project. In here, we will see there is a Visual Studio solution. Let's open that. We can now take a look at the Solution Explorer to see what the dev tool created for us. But before getting into that, let's start by building the solution. We can now go back to Solus and click on Refresh Windows. Now we can see that our custom Reaction Wheel library has been added to the scenario list. Now we can start creating our custom component. Start by opening the XML file that was created in the XML folder. This XML is how you define the type and structure of your component. I will start by entering in an empty component definition. I now have an empty component definition set up. I selected this component to be a primary component. Primary components process inputs and outputs as well as iterate. We then have our configuration section where you can define parameters. These parameters are set via config files. Then we have our command list for all the commands we want to be able to issue to our new component. And then last we have our telemetry section. So now I'm going to fill out this component definition for our custom reaction wheel health monitor. I now have the basic component configuration filled out where I gave the component name custom reaction wheel monitor. I gave it the interface of the FSC ACPROC reaction wheel. I gave it two parameters, a Boolean of health status and a double of the speed threshold in radians per second. I also added a command to set the speed threshold where the input argument is a double of the speed threshold in revolutions per minute and then two telemetry channels of health status, which is a Boolean, and the speed threshold, which is a double. I now can save this component and run the dev tool again. Now that code generation is complete, we can take a look in the solution explorer to see what the dev tool just made for us. We have our headers and our source file. So let's take a look in the source file we can see all of the framework that the dev tool made for us. What's left for us to do now is to add in the logic into our component. Now taking a quick look at the logic that was added to this component, I first grab the reaction wheel speed and compare it against the threshold to determine if the health status is good or bad. I then update the telemetry accordingly. In the command, I added the logic to be able to set the threshold parameter. Now all that's left to do is to build the solution and go back to Solus. From here, we need to go to the configuration manager and copy the Solus generated configuration.
Now we need to add our new component. We will select the custom reaction wheel monitor from the factory type and fill out the rest of the add component page. Now that it's filled out, we select OK, and we can now configure our new component. We'll start by adding the connection. The connection is to that ACPROC reaction wheel that we set in the XML. Hit OK. Then we're going to set our new parameters. We'll start with health status to true, and we'll set our speed threshold to 5000. Now that our component is configured, we need to go to the configuration set that we're using and select our custom config. Now we can select on the SDK telemetry interface and add the telemetry for our new component. We put our component in actuator processing and we can see we now have our custom reaction wheel monitor with the telemetry channels that we configured. Add that packet and accept that change. We now want to view this telemetry in SDK, so the first thing we will do is to click on the Run button and click on Start Paused. Then we will select our run at x times real time with a 10 times multiplier and hit OK. Now the run status window is up and it is paused, so we can go into the Report and Graph Manager now and make a new graph. We're going to call this Reaction Wheel. And expanding this window to see a little better here, we can scroll down to User Supplied Data. And in Actuator Processing, we're going to add the Reaction Wheel X filtered speed to the Y axis. And then scrolling down, we'll see our new telemetry values. We are going to add the speed threshold to the Y axis as well. We will then add the health status enum to the Y2 axis. Hit OK. And now we're going to bring this up as a dynamic graph and close the windows we no longer need. And we'll tile our windows so that we can see them all. And then if we resume this simulation, we will see the values coming from our new component. So first, let's change that threshold by issuing our new command. We'll set it to 1000. Prepare and execute that command. And we just saw that the value changed in the chart. So now, if we command a slew, we should see the reaction wheel move and go above our threshold. So we'll select a Nader track and issue that command. And we just saw that our speed threshold was violated as the reaction wheel began to spin up. In this video, we went over how to utilize the Max development tool to create custom components to work with the Max Flight software. Thank you for joining us for our demonstration of the product suite offered here at ASI by Rocket Lab.